What'd you do? This is the kind of field every farmer loves. Or most every farmer I know. Little 18 acre, little 18 acre creek bottom farm. And it is some good dirt. Sure enough, good dirt. Corn's making really well. I figured it'd be good corn, but it's even it's even better than I thought it was going to be. We come out here and opened the field up yesterday, and it was a little wet yesterday to be shelling, but uh, we needed to get this field opened up. And get to rolling right now we're in some replant corn it's checking about 19 and a half but we're mixing it in with some dry corn over here running through here's corn running 299 294 pretty daggum good corn See how much difference between the replant corn and the, and the dry corn there is. Probably gonna lose a little yield because there's some double plant right here. According to the yield monitor, about 70 bushel difference. Man, this is, this is, this is awesome. Guys, shelling, shelling corn like this is fun. I probably ain't gonna be able to keep up with the truck today, even though we're only hauling about two miles to the elevator and there ain't much of a line. But that's a, that's a good problem to have though. I'll wait on a truck anytime to be averaging. Uh, it says field average right now is 207.
taking a dump. This uh, first planted corn, not near as good as that corn over there with the green. Still, still very respectable corn though. I'm not going to complain one bit about it. You know, I talked in an earlier video, said really didn't know <clears throat> why the corn was doing as good as it is. Well, I just need to say this. You know, it's probably because the good Lord is taking care of us. He, uh, he does more for us than we let on. You know, in all actuality, here's a spot I probably should have spotted in with the planter. In all actuality, All I do is just plant the seed, fertilize it, and tend to it the best I know how, and the rest is up to God. And uh, this year, he's blessed us with a good crop so far. And uh, I'm really thankful about it. Sometimes, sometimes I complain when I really shouldn't because I'm luckier than I'm getting to do I'm luckier than a lot of people in, in life you know a lot of people had to go to a job they hate every day I love my job it can be stressful sometimes and be some long hours sometimes but I'm getting to do what I've always wanted to do uh, ever since I was a little kid and I thank God that he lets me do that And again I could get used to this we got three bonus rolls may have to hang y'all up don't want to make a mess grew it and got it want to make sure it gets to town right, I like to say is a nicely nicely manicured cornfield nicely sh shelled off Look at what I want y'all look at. Look how many there gum, uh, which I planted it thick as hair on a dog's back. But look how many sh shucks there is out there. Bunch of them. That's normally typically a pretty good sign when you shell corn and you can't see any, when you can't see, when you can't see any bare dirt out there. You normally, Sometimes you can tell how well the corn does by by the amount of stalks out there. So here's been shelled uh, right around uh, I don't know right around sixth of September there, and it's the it's the 23rd now. Thought my old combine done a pretty good job. You don't see uh, don't see a lot of volunteer corn out there. This corn here is a little different story. Showing checking 17. Yield ain't quite as high, but we're on the 
we're on a whole, we're on a hill now, so it, you can expect to see a little difference. He's out here planting them spitting snow. Now it's no joke. We have done been planting for a week. Then they changed the forecast to cold with a chance of snow. We had to replant the lower end down there. And as you can tell, <clears throat> this corn's a little skippy in spots. You see how we got a good stand? Skip. Probably double skip, double skip, skip, double skip. Uh, but we got lucky. We got a, uh, this is, we're still shelling on LG 62C35. And it's got a flex here. Now this rain, this corn here, lacked for some moisture when uh, it was finishing filling out. It's really good corn, but it's not quite what it could have been. Let's, I'm going to count and uh, see how many rounds around it is. 18 by 40. You see how them kernels is kind of shriveled up a little? <clears throat> think, I ain't for certain, but I think that's where it run out of moisture on the tail end. It's corn, uh, last load check, 15.8. It's been going down as the day goes. You see how the ears are flopped over? Doesn't have as quite a much kernel depth as I like to see. Still respectable, I mean, it's not tuck this in here for Robert where the combine will get it as it comes by. But still, pretty respectable ear.
Mrs. Hi, Miss Kristen's son. Miss Kristen's son. <laughs> yeah, he watches the channel, don't he? Mm -hmm. All right, let, let's have some corn. Miss Kristen, you're so fancy. So fancy. Yeah. I thought he's so sexy. <laughs> Miss Kristen is so sexy. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Robert, what'd you do? Well, it's because I sprayed around and parked it up underneath the shade. I thought it was a big green hole. <coughs> that little chain ought to pull it. All our good chains are in on the low boy. Walter, are you capable of standing out there and filming this? That ought to hold it. Maybe. Corn muffin. Oh, you see that? Okay. You sit there and hold it on me and Bob, okay? Bob's gonna pull us out. Dum, 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 dum. Come on, put him. <laughs>